15. Three points at home against Weymouth. That must feel good. Yeah, it was. Uh, we're delighted, to be honest with you. This is what it's all about. We had a supporter singing. We gave, I spoke earlier in the week about giving our supporters something to sing about. And our players certainly did that. So we're all elated. We're all delighted. And no doubt we'll enjoy this evening now. What, what's it like, obviously, now in the dressing room, the first three points of the season? They must be buzzing. Yeah, the place is buzzing. Yeah, I thought we, if you go back in the performance, I thought the first 20 minutes were a little bit tentative, not sort of understanding exactly what we wanted. And that's just confidence. You know, the confidence has knocked out of us a little bit. We managed to score a good goal. Um, and then we sort of stepped on again and did really well. But the, the bit I was a bit worried about was the start of the second half. We come out on the front foot and we plenty of corners, some good chances. Their goalie made a couple of really good saves. I was thinking we haven't scored when we're on top, which is very important in, in, at any level of football. And to be fair to Weymouth, they made a subtle you know, tactical change and they, they put us on the back foot. And I thought all three substitutions made a huge impact within the game. Yeah, I thought Adam Marriott was excellent. Obviously Harley come on as well and Powley, who we all know top players so the strength and depth of our squad today was shown and it managed to win us the game, game of football. There are a lot of positives from today what were you particularly impressed by? Our character, our togetherness we've shown that today look how we've all gone off the pitch today we've shown that we dug deep we've had some players Payne hasn't played for, for a while he's dug deep today making blocks Mitchie Brundle made an unbelievable header at the end you know people don't see this kind of thing they see the goals the glory but that from that from Mitchie Brundle at the end when he's making you know from a corner a defensive corner a head, flicking a header away it's priceless so that's what it takes to win football matches and uh, we're delighted Harry Taylor was, hand, was handed the captain's armband for today and played a pivotal role in the defence didn't he? Yeah, what we tried to do today with selection was play players in their best position. And Harry was probably the only one that can play right back, can play right to the centre back and can't play centre midfield. Everybody else played in their best position, if you look at the selection. Um, so we wanted, you know what I mean, round pegs and round holes and not square pegs and round holes and I thought that was important. What, what do you think the, the main differences were? Because obviously we, we took the lead against Eastley uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, they, they scored the equaliser. Um, and we looked a bit flat. Yeah, I think I made a very positive substitution, to be totally honest with you. Uh, you know, I brought on three centre forwards or attacking players, and I took off three attacking players. Um, you know, to be fair to them, attacking players, Bloomfield, many socks off. Ephraim Mason Carrick was getting cramped, so I took off the front three and replaced the front three, and Cissé was getting cramped as well. So it's been a tough week, it's been a, a different week to what it has been because we've trained a little bit more and a little bit harder. Uh, in the sense of more running and stuff like that. Because I want us to be fit, I want us to be able to press the ball like we did for the second goal. Um, but I'm just proud of the players, I'm proud of everybody at the football club and we have to really, really enjoy this evening because this is what the business is all about, winning football matches. A, a debut for, for Rob Hall, what, what did you make of his performance today? Yeah, it's class. Rob, classy player. You know, very intelligent, um, good brain and a beautiful left foot dribbler it's just something we haven't got so to bring him on was, was luxury really we've just got to now wrap him up give him a bit of TLC wrap up with cotton one and make sure that because of his injuries you know, his injury record we've got to give him the best opportunity to make sure he can show what he can do on the pitch another full week of training before Halifax at home uh, next Saturday now what are you expecting to see from the from the players in training during the week <laughs> the same attitude they showed us last week they've set the standards now that's the standard standard set you know um, but we have to enjoy this evening, that's very important, Howard. We've got to enjoy this evening. We've walked our socks off, so all the lads can enjoy the, the, their evening with their families or whatever. They're going to maybe have a little drink if they want to do that. And then tomorrow, my job is to focus, uh, obviously, dissect what's happened within this game. And then from Monday morning, my job is to focus on uh, Halifax. And uh, we'll come in afresh and we'll do that. And just finally, the fans really enjoyed that one, didn't they? Yeah, it's for them. You know, it's our football club. This is our football club. We need to get togetherness, you know what I mean? It's not my football club, it's not yours, it's ours. Yeah. That's so important, we've got to get everybody in it together. And the only way we get everybody in together is the way the players rend today. They rend their socks off. And that's all any supporter can ask any player to do. So it's very vital that we continue to do that for our football club. And uh, it's a pleasure to be at this football club at this moment in time. Thanks, Dean.